So today I'm going to talk about um, having an identity outside of your eating disorder. Obviously, when you've got an eating disorder, it kind of takes up all of your time and all of your efforts and it also destroys your co uh, concentration. So obviously you don't really have any capacity for really anything else because um, of kind of the foggy headedness and and the complete obsession with food. I mean, when your body is starving, it um, focuses solely on food. So it's probably become pretty much all of your identity and you've probably forgotten anything that you used to enjoy um, or haven't involved yourself with something that you used to enjoy for a very long time. Uh, when you first go into recovery, you can, you'll probably expect that, you know, all your interests will come back straight away as soon as you're getting an adequate intake. Um, but that, that's just not going to happen and you're going to have to wait a while because at first your body is still going to focus solely on food because now it's being fed it and it wants more and so at first for the first few months you're still going to be um, completely consumed by the thoughts about food because you're just going to want to eat all the time which is what you need to do and what your body needs so um, don't expect your interest to immediately come back um, obviously now you're not focused solely on your eating disorder um, you are going to feel slightly lost because the eating disorder was your identity and now you're trying to get past that so you might feel very empty and unsure of what to do with yourself because all your time was spent dedicated to food. Um, so first of all, I'd say, you know, try out the things that you liked um, before your eating disorder. Um, most of the time, these kind of interests will be something you'll still be interested in, but you might have been quite young when it started, so your interests may have developed, but you won't they won't have developed because obviously you weren't involved in them but uh, you may find that you're interested in a lot more things now than you were and new things as well but you just need to find out what they actually are obviously it, try to explore them whenever you want um, as I said at the beginning it might be harder because you're not going to find yourself as interested in other things because you're going to be um, so consumed with kind of weight gain and and eating enough and um resting and stuff like that but you know whenever you feel like it it is time to you know start finding out who you are um without an eating disorder who you really are so i've written down a list of a few things well <laughs> quite a few things because um people seem to find it quite hard to think about things that they could be interested in but i understand that um so writing, uh, poetry, literature, um, haikus, um, journal entries, anything like that. Writing is really good and I think quite a few people with eating disorders do use writing because they've been in um, and they probably have used writing actually throughout their eating disorder I did um, to kind of express um, what I was going through. Um, painting or drawing uh, photography um, and I put baking on the list because for me baking was something that, that I really really learned to enjoy in recovery um, it was something that I enjoyed doing well I enjoy I enjoyed actually baking the process of baking um, throughout my eating disorder but I rarely did it because I was too scared that I would actually eat what I'd made which obviously should be the point but um, yeah, and, and when I was in recovery, I learnt that I just really love baking and I bake all the time now. Now, obviously, some people may find that they actually baked more in their eating disorder and baked for other people. Now, if it's kind of triggering or it's an interest which has come out of your eating disorder, it isn't actually a natural interest, then obviously don't actually bake because, yeah, well, if you find that you enjoy it, then you obviously enjoy it. But, you know, make sure you can distinguish between you enjoying it and the eating disorder enjoying it. 
Um, I put neuroscience on the list because uh, one of my friends is really interested in neuroscience. And it's actually really, yeah, it is really interesting. And she tells me about some of it. And, you know, I'm not very sciencey, but since most of the other things on my list are arty, because I am arty, um, I thought I'd try and put something sciencey in as well. And history. Um, you might like history. So, you know, get get books out from the library on things that you might think that you're interested in. Um, feminism, politics, psychology, philosophy. I have two huge books of philosophy and psychology. Haven't started them yet, but there's that is two subjects that I'm really, really interested in. I've always been interested in psychology. Um, knitting, uh, gardening, but only when you're weight restored, obviously. Um, you don't want to... Uh, do gardening when you're not because it is actually quite um, hard work. Um, making clothes, architecture, blogging. I love blogging. I do it all the time. I actually own, well, I run seven blogs now, I think. So, yeah, you can tell I quite like it. Uh, playing a musical instrument. If you're... Um, well, even if you, you haven't been previously musical, you know, pick up an instrument, see if you can play it. Um, reading. I love reading. Absolutely love reading. Um, and watching movies and TV series and the cinema. Now, those things, plus the reading, I found really difficult to do when I was um, in the depths of mating disorder because I had no concentration at all. So it was really frustrating trying to actually... Um, do it and especially as I, I want when I was in my eating disorder obviously a lot of us don't really want to be where we are so trying to escape is um you know <laughs> one of the top priorities but with my lack of concentration I couldn't um get absorbed with any kind of reading or film so it was kind of like torture but I absolutely love reading and I love watching movies so I do that all the time now uh, and tv series as well uh making movies I put that on my list just because I love movies but um, I was told before that I should be a director and that I was uh, going into the wrong um, industry by doing photography and that I should be uh, making movies instead. I used to make movies when I was younger, there was a group of us who used to get together and um, have, a, have a film, uh, a recorder, film camera and um, just make horror movies. One of our friends had this um, house and, and half of it was her house and the other half was an old people's home that they ran and then they shut down and it was just like completely abandoned and it was really, really creepy and we used to like go into that other half of our house and, and make um, horror movies. Um, yeah, there are lots and lots of other things. Those are things that came to mind um, straight away. But don't don't force your interests um as i said that like they will come um i didn't used to be massively interested in feminism um in fact i didn't really i wasn't involved in it at all until the last time um when i relapsed and after that when i started recovery i um i became really really interested in feminism and I, it wasn't like i i sought it out or i went to research it i just came across some things which led me to other things and and that's where my interest developed and now i am a massive feminist and i read lots of feminist literature and and articles and stuff all the time and um yeah quite proactive in spreading the feminist word but um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't like force that and that just came naturally to me. Um, I know that it is hard to feel lost and without an identity and without things to do for a while. Um, but that is part of the process, I think. Uh, it's kind of, I guess, wiping the slate clean and, and starting again. Um, obviously there are stuff that will come back from before, but it's wiping the slate clean of the eating disorder that's consumed nearly every part of you and starting again with your interests so yeah you know don't like stress about it because you're not a blank person you are not um the eating disorder may have made you feel like that and it may have covered up everything that you were and are but um you will develop your own interests and they will come to you 
naturally after some time. Now obviously, as I said, you can give them a bit of a push and start like trying out and exploring new interests and or, or old interests and, and seeing where it leads you. Um, but you don't have to. You don't have to force yourself or even explore if you don't want to. Things will come to you. Um, obviously, so, some people may like having the push because you might find your interest faster than you would if you left it and and that's fine too e everything is fine um so yeah don't worry about you know the identity part of yourself i know I, it is hard to let go of the eating disorder as part of your own identity that is another thing um but i think i will discuss that in another video as um yeah so this is re this is reclaiming your identity um your other part of your identity everything else and um i will talk about letting go of your eating disorder identity um i think maybe in my next video but yeah don't don't sweat it it will um it will come naturally and if you want to give it a bit of a nudge then go for it um I hope you're all doing well. I hope that Christmas wasn't too stressful for everyone and that you will manage to enjoy yourself and hopefully challenge yourself as well. Um, but if you didn't challenge yourself, that's fine. As long as you got through the day and had a good time, that's brilliant. Um, if it was hard, and I'm assuming it was for quite a few people, um, it will get easier as time goes by and you will be able to, if you didn't enjoy Christmas, this year then next year aim to enjoy Christmas and really really push forward in your recovery so that you can enjoy Christmas um, with everyone else so yeah keep going um, yeah keep going and um, you know have fun finding out who you are